once I get the snow swirled around the house, I'm going to put my lights on. And my lights aren't real lights because everything I put on this gingerbread house is edible. The only thing I suggest you do not eat is the gold cardboard. It is gold cardboard. I have to say that because there was a gentleman one year way in the back that said, that'll be my fiber for today. And then he got a big grin on his face, so I knew he was teasing. We're going to put our lights on. Now these are my blank and blanks. Juliana's having a birthday. Happy birthday. I work rather quickly when I'm doing this because it starts to air dry. It'll get like a little crust on it. At home I like to use the little teeny ones, make little strands of lights.
Yeah, what I do is if you notice I'm starting up on the roof, I push it, I push it up on the roof and bring it down. That way they're hanging onto the roof. If you put it right here on the very edge, they pop off a whole lot easier. So once we get all our icicles on, then we get to start decorating for the holidays. How many days till Christmas? Don't you have a countdown going? I can't keep track of what day it is. That's why I always ask when I'm out here. Has everybody been good? I don't hear anything. Okay. One year I had a little girl come at the edge of the table and she goes, I don't have to be good anymore. I got my trip to the world. Her mother was horrified and I told her I was just seen Santa a couple days ago and he's still checking that list. All right, we got all our icicles on now. Now I like to warm the house up, and I do that by using little candles. Everything on here is going to be edible. I just ask that you don't eat my sugar decorations, okay? I do have gingerbread samples in the center, so you can say you ate part of the Grand Floridian gingerbread house without going over there and pulling a shingle off. <laughs> we make repairs daily. It's hard to believe sometimes that it's actually real gingerbread on there, so people have to try it out. There's our little candles. Now, I love to put candy canes on my house. My next door neighbor has a lighted driveway with the candy canes. And I love getting home late at night, and it looks so pretty with all those lights on. Now, I'm sure if you're doing your gingerbread houses at home, you could actually use those little candles that have little batteries in them. And you could do stuff like that before you put your roof on have real candlelight in your house. I'm going to put some poinsettias in the yard and I do like hidden Mickey's. That's the best one I've seen so far on the back of your head. You can make a, a, a Mickey with those. It looks sort of like a hidden Mickey, right? I'll put some more poinsettias on the back of the house. And I'm just using more and more royal as my glue. The fake shop glue is either royal icing or chocolate. Now I like to call this my little cottage out in the woods. This is where I vacation. So I'm going to put some mushrooms in the yard. And this is where your Disney trivia comes in. Can you name me a Disney movie that has mushrooms? Alice in Wonderland was always my first one because they are, I have very colorful little mushrooms. I have lots of different colors. Can you give me some more ideas? Fantasia. Yes. Fantasia is a mushroom. I know, I only have room for, and I can't have two of the same color. I'll put a green one on. I already got a green one on. Now we have our mushrooms. It's a cottage out in the woods, you have to have trees. Now when I started this 13 years ago, our decorations were a little different. Our trees, you have to wait, you're getting ahead of me now. You're getting ahead of me. This is our second version of our tree, which is a little zigzag design. It's really cute. He's rushing me over there. Yeah. Always take pictures of what you do because you can see how you can improve through the years. I have a son, when he started little like this, he liked to draw. And I told him, make sure you put a date on everything that you draw so you can see your progression. Because you look at it day after day and you don't see it. And then all of a sudden you go back and go, wow, I have made progress. This is our new tree. Really cute. It's gonna sit right there. Now up on top of the house, I'm going to put my little Christmas angel. Everybody asks me, how come you don't put Santa in the chimney? Because I'm a good girl. If I put Santa in the chimney and he's only peeking out of the chimney, when I go to wrap him, I'm going to grab it right here. And I'm not going to hurt Santa. I want to be on the nice list. Now we're going to put our Mickey wreath up. Now this is not the very first Mickey that we put on our house. We'll discuss him later. But this is a little white chocolate Mickey wreath. So cute. Chef put him on the large house. 
He has a place of honor right there at the front. He's happy. He's very happy, yes. We're going to put a wreath on our front door. I am going to put a Santa face on the back of the house. It's coming together. It's almost there. Everybody's been really good, they said, right? So Santa has a great big bag of toys that's going to sit in the side yard. And right next to that, I put my adorable little snowman. Now, you know, he gets tired. So he has a little pillow pet. And it looks like a little polar bear. And he takes it with him everywhere. So just in case he needs a nap. It's going to sit right there. Okay, you have to think Disney. Who's this? Excellent. One of my favorite things about the hotel this time of year are the lighted deer that are out front. There was one night several years ago I was going home, the lighted deer, the real deer, just like this. Where do you think my camera was? At home. You know where it is now? Right here in my pocket. And I can say I do have picture of deer. They're in the parking lot. They're on the side of the road. They know they're very safe here. So just be careful when you're driving. Little baby one I saw last night and the night before, and it was probably the same one. Mommy was a little bit further back. Adorable. So he sits right there. Now everybody's been good. So Santa, I have several Santas to choose from. This one I'm going to put, he's got lots of presents for everybody that's been good. He can pull on the roof. No, I don't put him on the roof. He's a little bit too tall. I have a little short one. This is my little short bell Santa. He can go on the roof. And I trade them out every once in a while. Now, would it be a gingerbread house without a gingerbread boy, right? Well, here's my little gingerbread boy. He's cute. He's adorable. He's not gingerbread. He's sugar. I tried in the very beginning, 13 years ago, to make little teeny tiny gingerbread boys. I couldn't get consistent enough. So we decided we'll make them out of sugar. It's so much easier and so much faster. And he's so adorable. I have a little friend flying around, don't I? To make these decorations, do you have molds? Uh, we did in the very beginning, yes. Our wedding business has become so busy now that we outsource. So I'm not sure exactly how they do it now. They probably have a faster process than what we had in the very beginning. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. The very first Mickey we ever put on our house. I told Chef, we're at Walt Disney World, everybody expects a Mickey. He designed this little chocolate silk screen. Now it's on cupcakes, desserts, all over the place. The very first place he was, was right here on my chimney. Right there. I'm going to put a little snowman face on the other side. Now one request that we've had during, over the years is, will you keep saying you have Bambi, either paint his nose red or get Rudolph? Well, we have a compromise. We have a little red deer. And he's going to be up on the side of the house. Is that Rudolph? Well, sort of. Sort of, kind of. And he sits right there. There's a little gingerbread house, all decorated, ready for the holiday. I trade things out. I don't do the same thing on all the houses. I do have recipes to hand out. I hope everybody has a very happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're going to go home and do it, right? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm still staying at Disney. You're still staying at Disney? Well, that's awesome, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I also have articles about, and my chef tells me to t say that he has the number one stolen bread in Central Florida for sale in the large gingerbread house. It talks a little bit about it. He's so proud of it. And this year it is better than it's ever been. I do have samples in the center of the gingerbread so you can try that. I just ask that you don't eat my sugar decoration. Yeah.